the solution to this example. So the first one, always useful, just check that these are actually valid dates. I can go here and just check it's going to convert to a number, that's fine. So the first thing, how many days are there between the end date and the start date? So that's a simple calculation, I'm just going to say equals that minus that. Now when I look at that answer it gives me a 3. Now you've just got to be careful with dates because the start date is the 2nd of March. So we assume they were on the 2nd of the March, the 3rd of March, the 4th of March and the 5th of March. So when you're working with dates, just the way humans work, we generally include the full first and the full last date. So generally we've got to put a plus 1 here. I can copy and I can paste it. The next thing we need is to work out the total number of working days where Saturday and Sunday is a weekend. Now you need to choose which function to use. So we could use there's the net work days and the net work days international. So this one can handle any combination that can only handle Saturday and Sunday. For now we'll just use the net work days, the original one. And all we're going to say is there's a start date there's an end date and here are some holidays and it tells me that there were four working days between those dates if I copy it down did you notice the mistake I made be very careful generally speaking holidays are static they will probably be a table here very important you put your dollar signs on so let's double click it so now you'll see in pure calendar days, it was nine days for this person, but it's only seven working days. The next thing you need to cover is now same thing, total number of days, but now only Sunday is a weekend. So this time I'm going to use this. So we're going to do Network Days International. Start date is that cell. End date is that cell. A weekend, we're saying is this one here, Sunday only. I'm just going to click on it and tab and the holidays I'm going to give it over here and don't forget your dollar signs and I can close it and now I can copy and paste this and what you'll see is it differs here so for example this person calendar days are nine if the weekend Saturday Sunday then it's seven days leave but if the weekend's the Sunday only it's eight days leave